The never-ending quest for really unusual items is taking Drew down a favourite and well-worn path. I love going to old factories and industrial buildings because they all did different processes. They had different moulds, they had different machinery, different pieces of furniture that they used. So they're a rich vein for us whenever we get asked to go into one. On the hunt for those industrial treasures, Drew's driving 220 miles from Clandidno back down south to the town of Luton in Bedfordshire, just north of London. Right, T, we're off to meet a guy called Philip who owns uh, a hat factory and one of the oldest hat makers in the UK. I'm hoping that they've got work stools, work benches, moulds, maybe even sort of mirrors or stands where they'd have a display area. You know what I mean? Factory equipment. But for hat making, what do you not need for hat making? Oil and grease and tar and welding. So anything we get might be in really good nick. For over a century, Luton has been the millinery capital of Britain. In the 1930s, 17 million hats were made here each year. One of the oldest Luton hat makers, the Wright family, set up shop in 1889, and their business is still thriving today, with clients including Princess Anne and the designer Vivian Westwood. To evolve and update the business, current owner Philip now wants to downsize within the original Victorian factory, first used by his great-grandparents. That will mean a big clear out of the workshop floor. I invited Drew to help me shift some of the memorabilia that uh, otherwise I'll just keep. I hate throwing stuff away that has you know, memory or whatever. And uh, it'd be really good if Drew can find a few bits and bobs and find new homes. Um, yeah. <laughs> good morning, boys. Morning. How, How are you doing, Drew? Nice to meet you. How do you mean? Hi, I'm T. Hi, T. How you Cool. Right, let's get in. In the I, want to see, I want to see hats. Oh, you'll see plenty I, I of them. I want to buy a hat for myself now, I think, probably. We should get you one. Yeah. So, oh. come on in. Welcome to my world. So this is the showroom? Showroom, we call it the studio. Yeah. Um, it's now really for retail clients to come in, be inspired. When they come in here... They can go, ah, and then I'll, that. Yeah, that. And I'll stick something on their head and they'll go, well, I never would have chosen that. I see. But Who, these, these are, are what I have fun fabulous. selling. Fabulous. Or making so these. where do these go? Can I try? What size am I? That's a large. I don't think I'm a large. That's too big, isn't it? Yeah. So I do love, love a hat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I like it. It's that sort good. of works. Look at that. So yeah, it's definitely higher wing. Yeah. That's it. You'll need leather chaps yeah. for that as well. Do people just yeah. do this? They walk in and just start messing about with your hats. Yeah. yeah. It's fancy. Dress, sorry. Though. No, it's great. It's what we like. <laughs> Oh, I quite like that. That's good, isn't it? You can reserve a seat on the train in that. Look at that. Because no one's going to sit on it and no, no one's going to move it. Definitely not. Yeah. Stop traffic in that, won't I? The first potential buy Drew spots is hidden underneath an array of glamorous hats. This came off a, a chest uh, that was so rotten, they, there was nothing yeah. they could do with it. What's unusual about it is the quality of the timber that they've used. It's very, very good. Not particularly on this one, but on this backboard. What Philip is showing me in one of the rooms is a collection of carved architectural or furniture fragments. You've got all these odd elements. And what I'm really interested in is the backboards that they're attached to are incredibly old and very, very thick veneer. So what I think we've got here is uh, 18th century chest that somebody has applied in the 19th century or later all of these elements to it. This collection of architectural fragments were the gift of a furniture restorer who used to be across the road. The decorative pieces salvaged by Philip from a rotten chest include carvings which show an oriental influence and some fish-shaped handles. The quality of these is so good that even without the chest they could be worth around £500. What, what do you want for them? Oh, I have no idea. They're a really odd one. I have to say, they are a really, really odd... Um, I like you ponder. Yeah. I think I might have to for a minute, because you've got some chairs over there as well that I'd be interested in. The Singer chairs. Do you still use them? We use them here, you know, for the public, but we can't use them in, in industry because they're no longer... Up to spec. Yeah. yeah. Which is a shame, because yeah. they're actually really comfortable. Yeah, they were designed um, right the first time. Yeah. yeah. 
In 1910, the American-based Singer Company, famous for its sewing machines, started producing workshop chairs with a cast iron base and pine timber seat and backrest. These ones date from the late 1950s and could be worth around 700 pounds. We've got six of these. You've got six? Six of those oh, in this great. room. Okay. Um, make a great dining room table and chair set. They would. Now, these are the later variants. This is the sort of last of the line. The least popular, but the most usable and the, the most sort of accessible. You, you find more of these than any other type. But they're six and they're in really good, fairly matching condition. What would you want for them? Because obviously it's a lot more attractive to me that you've got this many. £100 a piece. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I'll start making a note. Well, Thank cheers. you very much. Yep, Thank you. happy with that. They're comfy as well. And there's still a deal to be done on the wooden fragments. I think I'd go in with one bid and it would be for the lot. I don't know how far apart we're going to be and don't take it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. um, I'd probably pay 400 for the lot and that would be it. It's fine. Sure? Yeah, take, give them a good home. Marvellous. Thank you very Cheers. much. Cheers. Yeah, cool. Right. Lead on. Let's see some more. I'll just right. grab my hat. Yeah. You should make sure you pick the right one. Yeah. <laughs> is it that one or is it the bowler? <laughs> <laughs> the bowler with the spikes. We'll get you into it eventually. <laughs> yeah.